All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Brakatheya Hawa, Brakatheya Hawa Shai, Brakatheya Hawa, Brakatheya Hawa Shai, Brakatheya Hawa, Brakatheya Hawa Shai, Ko Holo Yahawa, Bashem Yahawa Shai, Bashem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who rule well and who taught me this truth. And I shalom to you, sincere Akiam, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, Adawan Rataza, this will be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And um, it might be a little long, I'm not sure. I pulled a bunch of scriptures. Um, I don't know if I'm going to hit them all. Again, as usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash, the Holy Spirit. Adawan Ratazag, and it'll, it'll be edifying to the elect of Yasharala. And um, the inspiration for this lesson is that, as you can see, this video from, um, and I'll leave the link in the description if I remember. Adawan Ratazag, remember. Uh, the inspiration for this video is from uh, the family, and the video is entitled The Florida Man Gets Exposed for Sleeping with His Cousin and Killed, or oh, I should have said Unalive Salakia, and Unalived. Um, her and his mother Salakia, let me see A uh, Florida man gets exposed for sleeping with his cousin And unalived her and his mother Plus more um, As you can see the thumbnail It says uh, You can see um, Oh yeah that He um, he, doc he pretty much documented it Or he, can he was The whole time this was going down He was steady on social media uh, Making posts and whatnot. All right, so they can pretty much, you know, in the time in the time that we're living, in, they can put the the pieces of the they can go back and put the pieces of the puzzle together, you know. Anyway, um, as you can say, it says killed unalive Salakia three people in two hours. So it says a man recently went on a rampage, doing the unthinkable. The family TV covered his story. A Florida man fatally shot his mother and two other women he knew in separate locations before dying in a gunfight with deputies hundreds of miles away a sheriff said to, uh, said Tuesday all right and this is the times that we're living in these type of things you're going to hear about these type of things more and more and you are hearing about these type of things more and more because we're in a time of judgment especially upon Yasharala Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is visiting the world that he made. He's visiting the heathen. He's visiting these nations, the leaders, you know. But he's also going through uh, Jerusalem, you know. And a lot of you have heard, like we keep saying, broken records. Well, first and foremost, the, the scriptures say, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai said, there's no cloak for your sins. You know, the men of the Lord, starting from our apostles on on down, all the men that labored before us because we've entered into other men's labor, starting with Abba, Elder Abba Bivens, who is Elijah, if you can receive it, and all the men that, that were laboring before us, we did as we were commanded. We went out to the lanes, and to this day, we're still out there in the lanes. The actual, the, the agora, the pavement, we're pounding the pavement week in and week out, and we're also in the, in the digital lanes, the internet highways. So there's no cloak for your sin. You've heard this word. This gospel has gone out. Now we know the end is coming. There's no cloak for your sins. You can't say you didn't know, you didn't hear, you know? That's why you see these judgments are increasing, but you ain't seen nothing yet. So I'll, again, I'll leave the link for this in the description, you know? And, and it's beautiful. When I see these things, it's beautiful to me because, um, hey, if you with the, if you could see, if, if, if your eyes are open, if you have the eyes solved, you know, the, the spirit is dealing with you. You can see what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is doing on high, man. Everything, it, like, there's no waste, man. Truly, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is omnipotent, all knowing, all powerful, unfuckwittable. You know? No waste with, with, you know? He's manifold. Like, the, like for example, the unicorn, this technology. It, it, all these things were created to what? Help further the gospel, help seal the elect, the internet, the YouTube, social media, the blue letter, like like they were saying, give Esau a hand of a, a round of applause, you know? 
Don't you know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai put the spirit on these people? You goddamn fools. You know? But also it manifold. This technology helped further the gospel. Now we know, now the end is coming in. There's no cloak again, as I was saying, judgment is commencing. But it also allowed you to document your folly. Okay? And, and, and expose yourself. Expose your wickedness. Like like when you watch the video, um, you see, you know, everybody's everybody's a social social media celebrity. Everybody wanna be famous, as you know. This is the social social media age. Everybody wants to be a god worshipped, you know? Everybody wants likes and views. Everybody's living a fucking facade, putting up a front for the world. Okay? And what 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 Yahweh Bashim Shai is doing now, he's pulling back that veil. Everybody's being exposed. That light is coming through, man. That light and, and, and them judgments are being just like you 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 know you've been uh, openly mocking the Lord, documenting all your wickedness, you know. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is documenting your judgments, letting the world see it. Prime example, Julio Fulio, this guy, you know. I guess he might have been a uh, some type of uh, you know singer or some shit. I, I seen he, he was doing something. I don't know. I never heard of that guy, but you know what I'm saying. But Hey, it's beautiful, man. Beautiful. You know? Beautiful times that we're living in. So lucky for that rent. Let's get some scriptures. Second Ezra 15 and 8. I will hold who I who's who's speaking? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Matter of fact, let me start at um the whole the whole chapter's fire. You already know that. We always go through it. We in them times. We at the door of Jacob's trouble. All hell is about to break loose. Judgment is commencing. Uh, um, the main point I want is in verse 8 But I'm going to start at um, 5 Second Ezra 15 and 5 Behold, look, saith the Lord out of one I will bring plagues upon the world Judgments, right? All manner of calamities And you see it They talking about the damn um, The damn uh, bird flu now You know Talking about um, Anyway, I ain't even going to go into that It's all manner of things going on, man all manner of storms and, you know, we, hey, we in a time of judgments, man. Plagues. The winds of destruction are about to be let loose. Behold, saith the Lord, I don't want, I will bring plagues upon the world. Oikimini. The whole entire inhabited earth. All these nations. Everybody's about to be visited. Okay? You know? I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. And that dude... You know, he went through with the sword, the modern day sword, the gun on a, on a rampage, as it said, a killing spree, an unaliving spree. And that was the that was the that pleased Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, as I have on on deck. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai created that Jake as and, and, and his the whole and his whole intention was for him to be a spirit created for vengeance. And he brought vengeance and havoc in that family, you know. And that was the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And I guarantee you, every last one of them heard about this, you know, some way, shape, or form, they've heard this word. You know? So it says, the sword, famine, and the famine is coming. I just mentioned the bird flu. They're culling the animals, the chickens, the cat, cattle, you know? Farmers dumping their crops and, you know, uh, this weather, you know? What you think the, 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 this heat is going to do? It's going to cause the crops to, to dwindle, you know, to, dw to dwindle. They already told you Ukraine is the so-called breadbasket of the world. So a famine is coming, man. Death, a lot of death. Isaiah 66 and 16, the slain of the Lord shall be many. Death and destruction. And that's the indignation of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's his righteous anger. Why? For your wickedness, for your disobedience, your insolence. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Yeah, the sins of this place, it's reached the heavens. How much more wicked can it get, man? It's time for the hammer to come down. The tab is due. The bill is due. It's past due. The grace period is about over. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And their hurtful works are, are fulfilled. Yeah, the, the Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's hand that's made the nations drunk, right? On its philosophies, its ideologies. And look at them now. Now what, what does the scripture say? The nations are mad. Spiritually mad, mentally mad, physically mad. 
Everybody's mad. Why? Because they're tired of being fucking oppressed. Everybody's at their last end, their last wit, and they're about to snap. And that's the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He's pouring his spirit. He's doing this. He came to bring division, as he said. He came to bring uh, not peace, but a sword. He said he came to set a man at variance against his family, friends against one another. A line is being drawn in the sand, a separation, a division, the righteous from the wicked. Therefore, saith the Lord, Adawan, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. Yeah, the time of mercy is coming to a, 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 an end, man. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Judgment is about to commence. And you, you see, you're seeing it. Which they profanely commit. Yeah, you openly blaspheme. You openly mock the Lord. You openly uh, uh, talk shit about the men of the Lord. Scoff, scorn. You openly uh, commit uh, adultery. You openly commit sodomy. Eat all, film yourself fucking eating all type of abominable foods. Turning up, celebrating pagan holidays. You know, you're tatting all type of fucking idols upon your body. You're rocking fucking Jesus pieces. The Lord is tired. He's angry, man. You've been spitting in his face and it's, it's long enough. It's, it's enough is enough. You know? It's claiming you love God. You you blessed and Jesus this. You know, you love God and, you know. But but your, your actions show you to be hypocrites. Liars. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit openly. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. You think he just going to just going to keep letting you fucking uh in anyway, you know, enough is enough, man. And you see it. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me and the souls of the just complain continually. OK, and that's what's happening. Our cries have not fallen upon deaf ears, as, as I always say. They've entered into what? The ears of the Lord of Sabaoth, the Lord of armies, the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And he's about to avenge us. His elect speedily recompense all the wicked, all our adversaries. And two thirds of Israel are the adversaries of the elect of Yasharallah. They're the same ones that put the prophets to death in the past, they're back in their lot. They're the same ones that said crucify Yahweh Shai HaMashiach and, and, and give us Barabbas. Okay? Let the sin fall upon us and our children. And guess what? You back in your lot uh, uh, reaping what you sowed. Uh, you know? A, a give an account for that, for that idle that idol speech that you made. Okay? Because judgment takes place under the sun. And we in a time of judgment. Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound, iniquity is sin upon sin upon sin. Sin is transgression of the law, breaking the law. The wages of sin are death. Because you sin, the price you pay is di you die. That's the that's the that's the cost to be the boss. You want to lean upon your own understanding. You want to do your own thing. You don't want to follow your how but you shy's uh, laws, statutes, and commandments. You know. That was that. I don't know. That was, we're in the modern times. That was the ancient. That was the old way of thinking. That was the ancient times. That was the old. You know. You know. <laughs> that, that's how they think. No, we are more advanced now. You know. Oh, okay. You you know. You think you're 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 wise in your own conceit. Okay. The price you pay is is you die. And, and you people, as the scriptures say, are laden in your iniquity. Wallowing in, in your sin openly You don't even give a damn no more Okay You ain't trying to hide it You openly uh, uh, worship Satan you, you twerking on Baphomet Okay You see what I'm saying You openly throwing up devil horns And all this shit Okay Making mockery Okay So hey when that hammer come down Hey don't say nothing Matthew 24 and 12 And because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold, and the love of many wax cold on this Jake. That's why he, he went on a, a rampage in, in two hours and got in a shootout, okay? Because we in them times, baby. Uh, uh, Ezekiel chapter 2, um, 
Absolutely. Ezekiel 12 and 2. Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a of a rebellious house. Two-thirds of Israel, a bunch of goddamn knuckleheads. Like Kanye said, you can't and, and you niggas can't tell me nothing, right? That's the spirit of Jake. You can't tell two-thirds nothing. You know? And then all they want to hear is smooth things. Folly. You know? They don't want to hear no righteousness. They don't want to hear no truth. Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house, which have eyes to see and see not. They have ears to hear and hear not, for they are a rebellious house. It's plain. It's evident. It's evident what times we're in. Okay, it's obvious. But Jake ain't trying to hear it. You know, the writing's on the wall. This place is through, but Jake don't want to. Jake don't want to let go. Jake's still trying to hang on to this fucking place. And it's, it's circling the drain. Ezekiel, uh, hey, so it is what it is. That's your ass. The blood is off our hands. We're only concerned with the elect. Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 1. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me, and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Yasharala. That's chiefly who we're concerned with, our people. You tribe, you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Latinos, Hispanics, North American Seminole Indians. You are the Lord's chosen people. And the Israelite foreigners, the Israelites that are scattered abroad, mingled among the heathen, whose seed go back to one of the 12 tri tribes of Israel. This is who our message is for, okay? No other nation, okay? But, all, but we also tell, tell the nations their judgment, what's, what, what, they, what they have to look forward to in the kingdom. Which is which is a recompense, a payback. The same hell you put on Yasharala, hey, that's what you got to look forward to in the kingdom. What you sow shall you reap. So it says, and he said unto me, so, but again, our, our chief concern are you tribes. And you've heard this word. We cause hey, again, starting from our elders and, uh, and apostles uh, and, and all the men before before them, okay, uh, before us, we've done as Yahweh Bashim Hawashai has commanded us. Okay, stood stiffly for the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and, and blow, blown that trumpet. We still blowing it, but you ain't taking heed. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Yasharala to a rebellious nation. What does it mean to rebel to make war? And who'd you been, who have you been making war against? Your power, your maker. To a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day because they are their fathers coming back in their lot receiving that judgment that recompense which is meat <laughs> which is good hey it is what it is we don't feel sorry for you for they are impudent children hard-headed stiff-hearted right knuckleheads for they are impudent children and that's how a lot of jake the two-thirds they act like a bunch of goddamn children you know for they are impudent, and they got the spirit of the black woman on them. And she's a big-ass child. For they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. I do send emotional. That's why he did what he did. He was emotional, all in his feelings. Uh, he's uh, embarrassed what the people are going to think. But it is, it's perfect because you lived your life on social media. You were putting up a facade, acting like you was a man of God and so righteous and this, that, and the third. And you got exposed. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai exposed you. And you were you were ashamed. That's what led you to that. But it was, you were you were just a tool. You know? For for they are impudent children and stiff hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Adawan Yahweh, and they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, whether they let whether you listen or not, we don't give a damn. The blood is off our hands. We're gonna do as we were commanded. For they are a rebellious house, yet shall they know that a prophet have been among them. You see? You see? But that's the point. You know, the whole chapter is good, but that's the point. You're going to know that a prophet have been amongst you. When? When are you going to realize that? When every, when all hell break loose, when all the things we've been telling you is coming to pass, you're going to kick yourself when that karagma is made mandatory. That RFID C hip, you, you know? You know? When, when, when you're being carted off in, you know, to the third world, to the Valley of Hawashapat, you're going to, you know, when, when you when you go to the grocery store and you see the shelves are empty, 
when you when you when you travel into work and you see this fucking martial law, you're gonna kick yourself, but it's gonna be too late. Why? Because you trusted in oppression. You trusted in wickedness, you trusted in perverseness, you trusted in this world. Isaiah thirty and one. Salakia. Woe to the rebellious children. Woe means destruction. Saith the Lord Yahweh that take counsel, but not of me. Yeah, we have a, the scriptures say we have a zeal for the Lord, but not according to knowledge. That's two thirds of Israel. You know, they they we naturally have a connection to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because we we're righteous, we're upright. That's why when we do certain things, we 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 feel conviction. You know, we have a conscience. Esau Edom. He doesn't have a conscience. He doesn't have a guilty conscience. He does all manner of wickedness and sleeps good at night. He, matter of fact, the scriptures say the wicked, they, you know, Esau, Edom, he, he don't sleep unless he does wickedness, you know. But Jake tossing and turning, you know, hair falling out. You, you see the effects of wickedness upon our people. Their continence is changing. Our women, they got fucking bags under their eyes. Their eyes are black. They're, they're all stressed out. You, you can see the, the effect of wickedness upon Jake. Okay, and that's because you've been following a goddamn devil. You refuse to, you know, to amend your ways, man. So it says, Woe to the rebellious children, save the Lord Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit. Yeah, they got a covering of this world. They're all enamorated in this world, whether it be black culture, you know, whether it be uh, you're indoctrinated in this system, which is a trap. You know, you, you're worried about uh, rising up the corporate ladder. You want to be a high value man. You know, you know what I'm saying? You want to, you're trying to become an entrepreneur. You want to be a billionaire. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so freaking bad. You're chasing mammon. You, you inebri you're enamorated with everything except your, your power. You know what I'm saying? You want to be a rapper. You know what I'm saying? You want to be a movie star. You're trying to be a football player. Trying to be a family man, you know. You see, what I'm saying, you all, you 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 got a covering of everything except Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and doing the things pleasing unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is the furthest thing from your mind. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord Yahweh. Uh, you, you don't want to be woke and broke. You know what I'm saying? Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord Yahweh, that take counsel but not of me, and that cover with a covering but not of my spirit. That they may add sin to sin. That's what you're all about. This world doing some type of fucking wickedness. You, if it's wicked, you with it. That walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. And you trust in America. You trust in this place. You trust in your job, your degrees. You trust in your 401k. You trust in your intangible in, in things, the things you can see carnal things you trust in the military your, your, your bank account you know therefore the but all these things are, 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 are gonna uh everything temporal everything you see is about to melt with fervent heat this bitch is through therefore shall the strength of pharaoh be your shame you everything you trusted in trusting in is gonna fail you you trusted in that broken staff and you're gonna get what pierced through you're going to trust in this devil and ultimately he's going to put that karagma in you and you're going to get Revelation 14 and 9. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust of the in the shadow of Egypt. Yeah, because you, you, you were brought in America as a punishment. You're supposed to catch hell, man. This is not our rest. Okay, but you tired of, you tired of the heat. You know what I'm saying? You're looking, for, you're looking for a little ease, a little slice of the pie. That's what the shadow of Egypt, the, what does the shadow represent? The heat, you know, beating down upon you, right? Which you, you, you're supposed to feel that. You were brought here, uh, uh, Egypt, going into bondage, okay? You're supposed to feel it to correct yourself, to, to consider. Scourges are sent for amendment, but you don't want to feel that heat no more, which is the heat of Yahweh B'Shem Yahweh Shai, the fiery trial which is to try you. The fiery trial of Yahweh B'Shem Yahweh Shai now. You were looking for some rest, some refuge now. You're looking for your, your for your king. You're looking for heaven now. That's what the, that's what the shadow of Egypt represents. From the sun, the heat, the cool, you know. And it's gonna be your confusion because you that that heat, that shadow of Egypt is 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 lulling you to sleep. 
okay? You're not paying attention to the signs, the writing on the wall, the things that are going on right around you. You in the spirit of peace and safety. So what's going to happen? We all know it. Sudden destruction shall come upon you. As a woman in travail, and they shall not escape. Jeremiah 5 and uh, Salaki, man, uh, all over the place, but hopefully it's coming together. I told you a bunch of scriptures was in my mind. Again, I, I don't want to write this out. Remember, I'll leave the link in the description. I'm trying to wrap it up. A couple more. Uh, Jeremiah 5 and 26. For among my people are found wicked men. You got a lot of wicked niggas amongst Yasharala, man. You got a lot of wicked niggas in the world, just in the world. And you got a lot of wicked niggas amongst the circumcision. Okay? But it's all good. Everything will be re re revealed in, its due t in due time. Nothing, everything going to be revealed. You can't, you can't trick your how about you, how shy. And you can't trick the elect. The scriptures say if it were possible, they would deceive the very elect. And that's what this, this fiery trial is doing. It's exposing everything. It's exposing what you are, what matter of metal you are. Are you reprobate silver or are you that fine gold? You know? And that's what the fiery trial is going to do. That heat from your Yahweh Shemim Yahweh Shai. It's going to get out all your impurities. You see? But the wicked, hey, the wicked are going to get sifted out. For among my people are found wicked men. And they're going to do wicked things. They're going, they're, going to be, they're going to be crash dummies, as they say in the world. You know? Yahweh Shemim Yahweh Shai got a lot of you people reserved as, as crash dummies. As spirits, again, created for vengeance. You know? To, to, to execute his judgment. A lot of you going going to take part in that race war and die. Man, man, horrific times. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set of snares. A lot, yeah, a lot of men got ulterior motives, man. You know? Filthy lucre, vain glory. You know? You know? They set a trap. They catch men and silly women. You know? Laden with lust and sin. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. You got a lot of deceitful men, a lot of bloody men. Therefore, they are become great and waxen rich. Yeah, you got a lot of men that are that have taken a bag or compromised, you know, got gag orders, you know. But also, as a, just as a whole, as a nation, which, um, uh, let me hit it real quick. Uh, Jeshurun, which represents Israel, waxed fat and kicked. You see it, Jake, Jake, the curses are starting to come up off of uh, Yasharala, and as Deuteronomy 30 and 7 says, are going upon these heathens, them that hate us. And Jake's starting to feel themselves, you know? And, and, and what do they do? They forget about their power. Yeah, how about you mean how shy is I'm going to read? You know? You know? When, when, when you was in hardcore slavery, you was swinging, swing load, sweet chariot, you know? You, you was looking to be delivered, but now you think you done made it. You think you's made it to the mountaintop, you know? Now you, now you trying to, now you, you know, you could care less about your power. You trying to uh, establish generational wealth, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you trying to build in a kingdom that's f on fire. Deuteronomy uh, 32 and uh, 15. But Jeshurun again, Jeshurun is another, uh, just basically another word for Israel. Wax fat. You got a lot of Jakes doing good. A lot of, you know, you know. Look at your Diddies, look at your uh your Jay Z's, your your LeBron James, you know, your Denzel Washingtons, you know, your your Colin Powell's, you know. But Jeshuron, uh come 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 all over you, Harris. But Jeshuron waxed fat and kicked. Thou art waxing fat, thou art grown thick. Jake bank account getting stacked. You know, Jake jet setting, rubbing elbows, look at look at uh Money Mayweather. Rubbing elbows with Warren Buffett on private yachts, you know, Illuminati parties, you know, diving in a swimming pool uh, full of, what did it say, the Kendrick Lamar? <laughs> but Jeshurun waxed fat and kicked, thou art waxing fat, thou art grown thick, thou art covered with fatness, settled on, uh, on them ivory couches, spread out, settled on your lees. Then he forsook Yahweh, power which made him. And lightly esteemed the rock of his salvation. Yeah, you, you cast it behind you. You cast this word behind you. You mock this truth. You mock the men of the Lord. You abhor Yahweh Shai. 
They provoked him to jealousy with strange gods. Again, you're angering Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai with your wickedness, man. They provoked, you fucking, you know, <laughs> they provoked him to jealousy with strange gods. With abominations provoked they him to anger. They sacrifice unto devils, not to power. Yeah, they, you do everything for that uh, corruptible crown. And then you, you win the, you win the uh, admiration of the world, your awards, your MVPs, your Grammys. And then you, you get up on stage in front of the world and you so-called, you know, want to get, I want to uh, thank God. But you ain't praising the God of Yahweh, of, uh, of Israel, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. What God are you talking about? The God of this world. You know, Mammon, Esau, the devil, Satan, you know, that's the God, you know, that's what you've given all your energy over to. They sacrifice unto devils, not to power, you know, Yahabashim Yahushai, to gods whom they knew not, to new gods that came newly up, whom your fathers feared not. A lot of you find out, like I was talking about um, the um, Julio, was it Julio, 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 a lot of Jake just finding out about the Illuminati in the hood in these ghettos, these traps, uh, barrios, you know, and what do they do? They, they, they go on the internet, they start to do research and they, you know, they, they start to, you know, they, they dive into it. You got a lot of fucking women practicing Wiccan and all, all type of shit, you know, you know, they never, they wasn't raised like that, you know, you know, but what they, 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 they get taken over by this world, you know, and it destroys them. It separates you from the, from your power. They sacrifice unto devils, not to power. To powers whom they knew not, gods that came newly up, whom your fathers feared not. Okay? Of the rock that begat thee, thou art unmindful. You could care less. You could care less about Yahweh Shai, pleasing him. You know? And has forgotten power that formed that formed thee. You know, but hey, you about to remember, you about, you're in for a rude awakening. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is about to reintroduce them. He's doing it now. He's, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is reintroducing himself to the world. Okay? You know? And, 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 and two thirds of his own people. And he's, he's reintroducing himself through judgments. Um, let me wrap it up here. Revelation 3 and 17. Again, cause this tying in with the Jeshuron wax fat, and I'm gonna close out here. You know, I had a couple more, but it is what it is. You know, I don't want right to say the point was made. Hey, we're we're in beautiful times, beautiful times, beautiful your pod your pod times. These things are gonna happen more and more, more and more, and and it's gonna be um, uh, public, made public because you're making your wickedness public. So hey, you think you mocking the Lord? How about you? How shy? Finna mock you. He who laughs last gets the last laugh. And how about you, Shai is going to laugh the best. We laughing at you. Okay, the elect are laughing at you. We don't feel sorry. The butt is off our hands, you know. Uh, Revelation 3 and... Uh, do, 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 do. I start at 15. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. Because, again, when you watch the video, he was, you know, all about God. He looked like he was a righteous, godly man, this, that, and the third. You know, but you, he was lukewarm, one, one foot in, one foot out. You can't be in the world and, you know, you can't be all, you know, it's either you in or you out, you hot or you cold. I know thy works that thou, and you got a lot of people like that. And, and your howl about you, shy, just going to, since you can't pick a side, your howl about you, shy, is going to pick a side for you. And how is he going to do that? By spitting you out and giving you over to those demons. Like they said uh, in the video, that guy, they said he had a, a men he was battling mental illnesses, meaning he was plagued in the mind. He had demons on him. And a lot of you have are filled with demons, got all type of demons on you. OK, you know, you know, and, and who man, the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai going to give you over to that to them demons, you know, at least you repent. You're going to be a crash dummy. I know thy works that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that thou were cold or hot. Either you in this thing or you out of this thing. So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. And again, when you spew something out, it's a violent act. It's uncontrollable. It's, it's when you can't, it's, it's unexpected. And that's what's going to happen. 
when you think everything is all peaches and cream, that judgment going to befall your ass. And you're going to be looking around like Boo Boo the Fool. Because thou sayest I am rich, Jeshuron waxed fat and kicked. You think you got a good job, good benefits, you know? You know? Because thou sayest I am rich and an increase with goods, you're carnal. You know, you think thinking gain is godly. No, spiritual gain is godly. Because thou sayest I am rich and increase with goods and have no and have need of nothing. I don't need nobody. I don't need no man. You know? I could do bad by myself. And know it's not that thou art wretched and miserable. Yeah, and these people are miserable and they're putting up a facade. Instead of just accepting reality and repenting, acknowledging their offense and coming back to their power. They refuse. They're going to keep putting up that front. They're going to keep uh, chasing the bag. They're going to cheat, you know? They're going to keep chasing that corruptible crown. And know it's not that thou art wretched. You're a piece of shit. We're all pieces of shit. We all need saving. Okay? And miserable. Why are we miserable? Because the wicked is ruling. When the righteous ain't authority, the people rejoice. When the wicked bareth rule, the people mourn. We're being oppressed on every side. We have to go to our enemy in want of everything. Those are part of the curses. That was upon us for a sign and a wonder. That's for us to consider. But nah, you looking for shade. You know? And know it's not that thou art wretched, miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked. You're blind. You can't see. You're sleep. You're deep sleep. It's high time to wake up out of sleep. I counsel thee to buy me gold tried in fire, and that's what the elect men are going to be, gold. And that's what this fiery trial is doing, this straight path to the kingdom. We're going to shine in that day. Then shall be known who are my chosen. Okay? We're going to, hey, it's going to be evident who the men of the Lord are and, and who the elect are because the elect are going to eat in them times. It says we're going to eat. We're going to be merry. We're going to be laughing. You know? It, it's better to be in the house of mourning than in the house of mirth. These people been in the house of mirth. They still in the house of mirth and, and the mirth is ceasing. Uh, while we've been mourning, sighing and crying. But hey, the tables are turning. I counsel thee to buy me go of gold tried in the fire that thou mayest be rich and white and, and white raiment, meaning pure, you know, blameless, righteous. What's going to do that? Yeah, how about you, how shy when he puts us, uh, uh, the new gives us a new covenant, puts the law, statutes, and commandments in our inward parts. We're going to be changed. And ultimately, the elect are, are, are blameless. I don't want what is all we be of that number. Our sins are covered by the Lamb. Our sins will be blotted out. You know? That thou mayest be clothed, and that, that, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. You know, that's what we want. We want to be clothed with righteousness. We, we understand how we've been conducting ourselves it's shameful, man. You know, we've been, it's, it's shameful when you, when you just think back upon the thing, even the things you still do, because we still go off because we're in the flesh. It's shameful. That's why we need saving. And we're in that contrite, pitiful, remorseful. We're begging for, we're begging for deliverance, man. But two thirds is just living it up, man. No care in the world. But hey, the tables are turning. And anoint thine eyes with eye solve that thou mayest see. As many as I as I love, who the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, right? It's a, it's an honor to drink of this cup, a slither of this cup that Yahweh Shai HaMashiach had to drink, okay? It's, it's tough love. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. That's what it's all about, maybe. A righteous man falleth seven times, but getteth back up. Keep pushing, keep fighting, we're close. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man open my, if any man... Hear my voice and open the door. I will come. Um, I will come into him, and will sup with him, and he with me. And that's what that's what's going on. Yeah, how about Shimei? How Shai is supping with the elect, starting with the men. You know, we can see everything plainly, and it's beautiful to see. Beautiful times that we're living in, horrific times, but beautiful nonetheless. A necessary evil. So keep pushing, keep fighting. Again, we're close. Shalom. Wa Kwam Nesharala.